you, uh, you know, you know who's on the show tonight? Oh yeah, Roseanne. Yeah, Roseanne's on the show, and she's got the, this book. It's out, uh, got the dispatches from the nut farm. <laughs> Here's my problem. How am I going to get through a whole interview with Roseanne when she's got a book about the nut farm and not do nut jokes? It's going to be a challenge for you, Pete. It's going to be. I, I think it's virtually impossible. I'm going to have to talk about testicles the whole way through. Yeah, you're definitely going to have to work in bowls at some point. See, even saying that sounded dirty. Oh, let's do our catchphrases. That sounded dirty. <laughs> there goes my penis. I was going to say something about your catchphrase, actually. It's been bothering me for some time. My catchphrase, that sounded dirty, makes sense. I say something that sounds a little bit dirty, and I go, that sounded dirty. But your catchphrase just is just stupid. <laughs> What the hell, man? No, it is. But, like, there goes my penis. Where goes your penis? Look, you don't even have a penis. That's the point. My penis has been in customs for, like, 25 years. <laughs> there it goes. No, it, it's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere because it doesn't exist. You have an imaginary penis. My that... penis gets shipped around from time to time to different ports. <laughs> That sounded dirty. There goes my penis. No, no. Now, I think we're going to have to find you a new catchphrase. That's all I'm saying. What about, I enjoy it in the nut farm? You know, because of the nut farm thing. Well, let's try it. Okay. <sighs> that sounded dirty. I enjoy it in the nut farm. Doesn't really work, does it? There goes my penis. Oh, that's how it's dirty. We'll be right back. with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Simply Naked Wines. Simply Vibrant, Simply Fruit Forward, Simply Unoaked. It takes confidence to go unoaked. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. Problem. I know it sounds great to you, but when I look right at you and I hear all the noise and all I can see is that dude going <sighs> <laughs> Starts to have a little bit of a tinny rattle for me. I start to think you're being a little insincere <laughs> You don't really like me <laughs> And then when you oh my blood boils and I remember it's war Everybody. Yeah. It is. It is, uh, it is Thursday, October the 4th, and let me just say this is the greatest audience we have ever had in this studio, except... Except... Except for one night about a week ago. <laughs> The audience that night made you guys look like losers! <laughs> anyway, it is a great day for America, everybody. It's a, yes, it is. It is a great day. 
<laughs> All right. It's a great day. It's a great day for people who like looking at pictures of little kitty cats. In other words, everybody. <laughs> There's a new scientific study that says that looking at cute animals actually improves productivity. And that makes sense because I'm a very productive person and I like look at puppies in the store window and squirrels in the park, beavers on my computer. I look at all <laughs> of God's creatures. <laughs> I set it up, you can't touch me. <laughs> There's a, it's a big night for TV tonight, because last night was the presidential debate. Oh, man, what was that like with the thing? And then they, oh, come on. So, uh, so I say it's, well, I don't even want to talk about it. That's how incensed I am. <laughs> so it's time, shut up! So it's time. It's time that we make things classy again. So tonight was the season premiere of the Jersey Shore. Oh, it was fantastic. I watched. It was two hours of ass grinding, fist pumping, dancing on the tables with no panties on. And when I finished doing that, I turned on the TV and I watched the Jersey Shore. But... That was, that was like an actual joke oh, when I did yeah, that. that. And you know what happens when we tell an actual joke? Oh, yeah. Here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> There's a woman at the end there who just flat out gave me a dirty look. Right now. Just like... Anyway, uh, tonight's season premiere of the Jersey Shore was bittersweet because it's the last one. MTV says they're ending the show to give the cast members a rest, which is code for we're getting our arses kicked by Honey Boo Boo. Honey Long Ding Dong, we don't want a Honey Boo Boo. No, say I'm all ready, Piggly Willy. Hey, no, 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 Anyway, let this be a lesson to you, hit TV shows. There's always a younger, crappier show waiting to take your place. But I'm going to miss the Jersey Shore kids, you know, with their, with their names again. There's uh, Ronnie, Sammy, Vinny, Dickie, Sparky, Sneezy, Dopey, <laughs> BP, Goober, Tito, and Regis. <laughs> they were... <laughs> so young and cuddly back in season one, but you have to admit, they're starting to show their age. You got a picture from this year's premiere? Look, look at this. <laughs> and it hasn't always been smooth sailing for the Jersey Shore. Some Italian-American groups were protesting it. They say the show reinforces cultural stereotypes about Italian-Americans. Their exact words were, Mamma mia! <laughs> <laughs> This Jersey Shore is a spice of meatball. <laughs> now, I am against any kind of cultural stereotypes, but then again, I'm Scottish. We hate everything. So I... <laughs> See what I did? Yeah. Anyway, the Jersey Shore cast are very proud of their Italian uh, heritage. It's contagious. I was over in Britain this summer, and it's popular there too. And you hear, it's like Jersey Shore Downton Abbey mashup. Oh. You know, people watch it, and they're kind of like, I say, I'll be in fancy a spot of GTL. <laughs> Well, little GTL. Over there, GTL doesn't stand for gym, tan, and laundry. It stands for uh, gout, tetanus, and leprosy. <laughs> That's just part of uh, GTL. <laughs> gout, uh, what, what have you got? G GTL. Uh, gizzards, tea, and liver. <laughs> Gravy, turkey, and licorice. <laughs> Gentle toad licking. <laughs> <laughs> German tinkle literature. <laughs> Gigantic Tommy Lee. <laughs> oh. Have you seen that video? You still haven't seen that video yet? Yeah, you gotta see that. When he drives the boat with his wiener, that's amazing. <laughs> Anyway, there's something about the Jersey Shore brings out the Italian in everyone. I know, I know a little Italian. It's true, he's over there. Say hi, Luigi. You over there? There he is. Hey, Bazzano, what's a coming to go? <laughs> Thanks, everyone. It's his first night. <laughs> He did good, didn't he? That was amazing. Yeah, it was amazing. He came right out, he did his line, and off he went. <laughs> really good. Sounded like your Italian Bill Clinton impression. Oh, yeah, 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 no. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Gigantic Tommy Lee. <laughs> 
Anyway, nothing against the Jersey Shore kids, but I can't believe that show lasted as long as it did. Six seasons, that's longer than The Wire was on TV. That's twice as long as the original Star Trek. Six seasons, that's six seasons longer than anything on the new NBC schedule. That's terrible. <laughs> Then again, the show is in it. Uh, this show, this show is in what? We're in year eight, nine? In the critics of this show, they said we'd run out of steam after the first year. They were absolutely right, of course. <laughs> you weren't even in the first shows here, were no, you? No, no. What was that? What were you doing then? <laughs> I can't say. <laughs> <laughs> I was selling Jeff's tasty lamb chops. <laughs> is that code for what you were really doing? You're damn right it is. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we soon be time for the Jersey Shore cast to pack their bags. I don't know what they're going to do now that their 700 hours of fame is up. After, they all made a fortune. But things change when you have that kind of money. You, you can go and buy flashy cars. You can go on expensive trips. Mitt Romney starts caring about you. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Kind of. It was a joke, wasn't it? All right. It was a joke. Let's get to it. Jeff and I are going crazy on the old mouth organs. You ready? Crazy, yeah. Okay. We keep repeating the same thing over and over again, doing that same thing. We do that same thing over and over again. We yeah, stop. and? <laughs> All I'm saying is we should try doing something different some nights. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Not in this show. Uh, All right, yeah, do you got a picture of Paul McCartney there? There you go. All right. <laughs> This is uh, from, uh, oh, no, wait. What time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from a man whose suit coat is so tight he might have to take it off. <laughs> oh, I didn't know. I didn't know we were going to do some talking like oh, perverted German people. Just so, so hot. Oh, you know, my suit coat is so very tight. <laughs> it's so tight it's making me constrict in my nipple area. <laughs> You should take it off along with the rest of your clothes. Oh! Wait, wait, you're making this noise like it would be enjoyable for you, but if I actually took my clothes off, you would be horrified and alert the authorities. I enjoy it in the nut farm. <laughs> That sounded dirty. <laughs> there goes my penis. Yeah, right. Uh, this is uh, from Mirabella in Gary, Indiana. You ever been down there? Oh, I love Gary. Yeah, you yeah. like it there. All right. Uh, dear Craig and Jeff, where is the best pizza place in New York? Oh, that's the eternal argument, isn't it? Where is the best pizza place in New York? It's uh, Joe's. Pizza. Yeah, Joe's. I, yeah. Uh, I think Joe's or Tony's. Tony's is Yeah, pretty. Tony's really Yeah, yeah. 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 This is uh, from uh, Sydney in Austin, Texas. You ever been down there? Oh, yeah, I love it down there. Do you remember, do you remember Sydney? Uh, you'd never forget her. Oh, Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, dear uh, Craig, do you rent out Jeff? <laughs> for what? The hell, man. Well, would you want me to rent you out? I'm available for services. <laughs> this sounded dirty. <laughs> And Jordan's are not fun. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> this is from Sammy in Chicago. Oh, boy. They're from Sammy in Chicago. Hey, Sammy, how you Hey, doing? Sammy, yeah. Chicago, how you doing? <laughs> you didn't see nothing. Just go down, knock on the door. Ask knock on the door. Yeah. I enjoy it in the nut farm. <laughs> there goes my penis. <laughs> <laughs> That sounded dirty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
the hell's going on over here? <laughs> anyway, Sammy Chicago says, uh, hello, Craig and Jeff. My teacher, Mrs. Raymond. Oh, Mrs. Raymond, she's a teacher. Uh, <laughs> She says I'll get an extra credit if I ask a clever enough question to have to read on your television show. So here goes. Who's the best junior high school teacher in Illinois? <laughs> hey, Sammy. Get the crocky out of here. <laughs> Mrs. Raymond. This is from Frankie in Mesa, Arizona. Frankie, Frankie. Frankie, hey. Hey, Frankie, hey, how are you doing? Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm in Arizona as uh, part of my uh, witness protection. <laughs> yeah, I deal mainly in turquoise. <laughs> wow, that, that's a subtext I just didn't see coming, yeah, man. Yeah. That was a plot turn right there. You're like, wow. He, it, uh, Frankie says, uh, Dear Craig, uh, doing any, and GP, uh, doing anything special for Halloween? Well, I thought I would dress up as a late night TV douche. My friend's going as a gay robot skeleton. What the? Ooh la la. Man. <laughs> this is from uh, Alexandria. And uh, this, this is from Danielle in the central coast of California. Right now. <laughs> That's it? That's all you got? That's all I got. <laughs> I figured you could vamp for a minute. Yeah, I was thinking of another uh, meaning for GTL. Oh, really? What? H have you ever done a geriatric tandem lap dance? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> We're going to make that happen for you. You say that. And that sounded dirty. <laughs> oh, God. I love you, man. What? I love you. What's going on, man? Yeah, you're my favorite GTL, grabby, tattooed lesbian. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess it's commercial break time. He just went woo because he saw a dollar? <laughs> I think that geriatric lap dance is in my future after all. <laughs> we'll take a break. We'll be right back. Fantastic comedian, her latest book, Roseanne Anarchy. Roseanne Anarchy. Is that how you pronounce it? Roseanne Anarchy. Roseanne Anarchy. <laughs> She's got a book out, uh, Dispatches from the Nut Farm. I enjoy it in the Nut Farm. Yes, you do. <laughs> it's out in paperback. Please welcome the lovely Roseanne Barr, everybody. Sweet, thanks. No, no, it's true. You look fantastic. You oh, look very you're respectable. Such a great liar. Thank you. I'm not lying. You look great. You've got oh. a hanky there. Why? I just have post nasal drip all the time since I got a nose job. Really? <laughs> I got some hankies here. I, I had a cold last week. It's clearing up now, though. Well, I'm I hope. pretty good. I'm pretty good right now. Really? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Are you a germaphobe? A little bit. A little yeah, bit. A little bit of a germ. Do you know Howie Mandel? I know, Howie's worse than me. Howie's crazy with him. I like, he comes on the show and I always go like, eh, hey, buddy. <laughs> he gets really mad. I don't like to shake hands. 
So, no, I can't do it. Really? I, Why? I prefer the terrorist fi fist bump thing. Huh? Yeah. I don't know. I just, I just, it freaks me out. Ugh. I think of germs and such. Really? I mean, you really worries you? Well, then yeah. You, you work on a nut I'm like farm. I mean, can we, I'm like Howard You're surrounded by world. nuts all day, and yet you're worried about germs? Well, then. That's where germs collect, is well, in the nuts. Well, nuts are co completely. <laughs> no. The nuts uh, are surrounded by a very hard container, a hard shell. So, you know, by the time you crack the nut shell and get to the nut, you've got a pure, clean piece of protein there. Nuts. What? Why are you so stupid? No. stupid. I know. I'm 10 years old. What can I tell you? You know what? It's macadamia nuts we're talking about. And let me about. tell you, it's what? anarchy with a rose in front of it. Rose anarchy. Right. Right, right. Isn't that what I said? No, you said... <laughs> it's my accent. That's my accent. It's a, that's how we say it in the old country. <laughs> I like your glasses. They really frame your eyes very nicely. Aren't they nice? They I got these at uh, this... Uh, optical store and they're from the 70s and really? uh, they're vintage that's what they call uh, no they're not i think they cool, they, huh? they look good they're like um studio 54 type oh they kind of are a little yeah bit. yeah a little right. bit did little you ever go liza there? little liza liza right? yeah i was thinking more steve rubel <laughs> <laughs> he was the guy at the door wasn't he uh, how would I, I know i never went there i, I uh, just lived in a cave at that time I, at, about the time there was Studio 54, I was living in a cave in the mountains of uh, Colorado. Really? Yeah. Did you have a very strict door policy? <laughs> what were you doing living in a cave? I was like just a hippie freak. <laughs> you surprised me. So, um... <laughs> So listen, you're still, you're still uh, harvesting the nuts then. You're still doing it. You're still gathering up the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> you're so stupid. <laughs> I know, yeah, I'm sorry. I, yeah, I'm, no, I'm still, I'm still uh, trying to... Uh, Do you make yeah. a profit doing this with the nuts? Hell no. No, all right, yeah. I'm Here's in the, the hole. The, the nuts have put me in the hole. <laughs> No, I, I don't get that one. But, they, uh, <laughs> but I was always surprised about uh, macadamia nuts. They're so calorific. There's like a thousand calories in one tiny macadamia a nut. A thousand. A thousand Thousands calories. Calories. Why, let me tell you, Rosad. <laughs> why, there's a thousand, thousand calories, calories in each nut. Calories. Yes. I like how you talk. I like your accent. Thanks very much indeed. No, it's, it's, it's an affectation. I'm from Jersey. <laughs> Fattening, you know, uh, macadamia nuts, they're like 600 calories for an ounce. That is a lot. But it's pure protein, so it's, it, it's like comparable to beef. What you, what you could maybe do is uh, mash them up and then sell them to babies. <laughs> like, you know, like macadamia milk for babies. There's a lot I of calories. I do make macadam macadamia cheese and macadamia uh, Babies milk. can't eat cheese. Baby can't eat cheese. They're too little. No, um, my grandkids eat it. What age are they? Uh, you know, they were eating it when they were one and two. You're just making that up. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. No, I'm yeah, not. Yeah, you're making it up. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you're making it up. Liar! <laughs> you're making it up because you're saying it so you can just make, you're trying to make macadamia cheese happen, but it's no, not going to happen. It does. It? it does. You, you put it in a food processor and then squeeze it through cheesecloth, and it's, it, it's actually very delicious. So what you do is you get the nuts and you squeeze them through the cloth? <laughs> <laughs> My three-year-old grandson. <laughs> so where is this farm then? In Hawaii? Yes. Hey, how are you liking it there? Are you still enjoying it? I love it. It's a nice fantastic. place. What, what island are you on? I'm on the big island, the least populated island, and the biggest I've never been to that one. Nobody's ever been to the big island. It's fantastic. Ah, it sounds nice. They have golf courses in Hawaii, don't they? Do you yeah. play golf? Hell no. Why not? <laughs> I don't like to walk. <laughs> Nobody walks anymore. You get a little golf cart and you wheel it around. The, uh, golf is like, you know, that, it's so elitist. I just, you know. Yeah, as, a, as opposed to having your own uh -oh. nut farm. <laughs> <laughs> we got to take a break. Do you remember uh, commercial breaks? Of course. You used to have them when you did the Roseanne show. There was when I used to have a TV show, yeah. Yeah. That, you, your TV show was a proper TV show. Was it what? It was a proper TV show. You a know. proper TV show. Yeah, yeah you make, it was. you're making fun of my accent like I make fun of nuts. <laughs> like I make fun of nuts I and you go. I'm trying to understand you. 
I didn't get that. What is that? What did you say? I'm just trying to Tootsie Fruits. Understand. Hey! <laughs> Put the right back in your hand. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Um, uh, 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 this is Rosette Barr. She's here, and she's talking about nuts. Yes, and you know, even though CBS told me not to make too big of a deal of it, you know, uh, but there's this little thing called the election, and I am running for president, and that's all I'm going to say. Good luck. <laughs> you knew that, right? Yeah, sure I did. Yeah, I yeah. just didn't want to get dragged into a political debate with I'm you. I'm not. You're not getting dragged into any kind of political debate whatsoever. I'm just mentioning the fact that there is an election. Why are you taking that tone with me? There is an election going on in this country, and it's almost as uh, important as Snooky. Okay, give me that. Yeah, yeah, yeah see? I knew you, you liked my cup, so I got you. I, I have an extra one. I just love that. I'm, yeah, it's I'm like very... you like the snake, don't you? I... <laughs> It's very cool. Yeah, Thank you. It's nice. Uh, now, this snake is really, not yeah. an actual snake, as you can tell. No. Uh, it's, it's a ceramic. Ceramic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Snakes, yeah. snakes remind me of the election. They, rem they, remind me of, <laughs> they remind me of penises, actually. Really? Yeah, snakes. I mean, it's a, it's a classic Freudian thing. Snake uh, emblematic of penises. You must know that. Is it penises or peni? I don't know. I wouldn't know. I've never had to use the plural. <laughs> Have you, Roseanne? <laughs> on drugs for a long time, actually. But yeah, you're I'm not... sober now, yeah, right? Know, oh, yeah. good. Yeah. Are you well, sure? You, are you, are you... <laughs> yeah, no, come on. If I was on drugs, I'd be all weird and talking funny. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, listen, we're out of time. Do you want some fruit? You probably know about fruit having a nut farm. What are you talking about? I'm going to give you some. Oh, yeah, I'll have some fruit. Yeah, yeah, all right. Well, i got a basket of fruit here, but some oh, of the good. fruit in here is a little... Now, uh, these are horrible. Never eat those. Oh, the kiwanus? No, they're horrible. I don't even know why they're called fruit. That sucks, too. Wait, 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 wait! <laughs> what are these? Uh, these, oh, you don't want these. They suck. Oh, they're uh, awful. No, that's a chinoya. It's named after a street in East L.A. <laughs> it's terrible. I'll take this. I like these. Thanks. What? A pomegranate. Oh, okay. Thank you can have you. that, but there's, there's a sweet... There's a, a sweet mamie? Is that what they call them? A sweet mamie? This one... This... Let's cut that open. Okay. Let's see what that's like. I don't, have, I don't like. have a knife. Let's use... Uh... I'm going to take this, too. I like these. <laughs> I like these. I like these. <laughs> cut that open! Oh. Oh. I want to see what that looks like. I don't, I don't have a knife, so I'll have to use... <laughs> I have to use that. Uh... Here. Yeah, all right. Can I hold it? Yeah. So, what's that like? Ew! Oh, wow, look at the Ew. nut inside that. Oh, that looks man, that's horrible. It's like alien. I dare you to eat it. How much you give me if I eat this? 25 bucks. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Is it. Uh, it's actually not bad. You really? Should, you Let me have it. Okay. Right. I'm not eating that part. Look at that. It looks like a... Yeah, yeah. Welcome to my world. It's kind of like a pumpkin. I went right by you, didn't it? No. I ignored it. <laughs> this kind of tastes like a pumpkin. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, what is it called? A sweet mammy? Oh, delicious. Hey, sweet mammy growers of America. It's kind of good. <laughs> Kind of good. Yeah, I think I'm going to get really ill from eating this. <laughs> I want one of these, too. Yeah, you Thanks. can take it, yeah. <laughs> so, have you got everything you came for? I think so. <laughs> one bar, everybody, we'll be right back. beautiful actress. She stars in Abducted, the Carolina White story, which premieres Saturday on Lifetime. 
Yes. <laughs> there goes my weekend. <laughs> Please welcome the lovely Kiki Palmer, everybody. Kiki Palmer. Great. Thank you I so mean, much. I mean, really fantastic with your suit. Thank you so much. It's lovely. It's shiny and eye-catching, and I very much like your collar. Thank you. Thank you so much for this. I feel so good today now. Mm, that was good. It's my job to help you feel good. It's true. It's true. <laughs> You've, you've been on the show before, right? I have. You see, when now, I was but, like 12 or 13. Yeah, you were, it was like my first week or something. Yes, it was the beginning. You, you didn't get a photograph out of that or anything. You know, you didn't think. You didn't think, did you? <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> no, but we should, we should look that, we could have looked that up. We should look that up. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so how was the rest of your childhood then? Was it all right? Yes, it was very good, enjoying myself. You know? Yeah, yeah. So you were 12. What were you here for again? I was here for Keela and the Bee. Akila and the yes, Bee, Akeelah that's Akeelah right. Bee. Yeah. And then... And then <clears throat> oh, look. A lot of these people remember that. They remember that. Did any of you bring a photograph by any chance? <laughs> What about, uh, what about, what, what's this story then? Is there any bees in this? Oh, no, there are no bees in this. Do you like bees? I do like bees. Well, I like to look at them. I like the honey that they give, but I don't like to be stung. <laughs> no. Well, they will only sting you if you annoy them. One time my sister stepped on a, a bee stump outside of my grandmother's house and they bit her. I mean, they like stung her, stung her, stung her like so bad. My grandma had to like put her in a bath of salt. Is that, I don't know why that, I don't is know that what why it does? The salt sucks out of the bee sting? I don't know. My grandma had a lot of like crazy little things. You know like what that. you want for a bee sting is a uh, macadamia nut. What? <laughs> Are you serious? A macadamia nut? Really? No, I just made it up. Uh, <laughs> So there's no bees in this story then? No bees well, in this story. Is this wise? Because the killing the bee was a big hit for you. So, you know, you want to stick with what's, what but works. What works. It's true. Yeah. It's true. It's no bees, no Lawrence Fishburne, no Angela Bassett. I don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah, well, uh, what is it about then? It's about, well, my character Carlina, she gets abducted as a bee from the hospital. By bees? No, not by bees. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not by bees. Take her away. She will lead us. Lead us. Please. Take us, human child, and lead us. <laughs> she gets abducted by uh, a woman who has endured a lot of uh, miscarriages. So, you know, she's kind of sad and she wants a baby. So she abducts me. Right. And she keeps me in. When I'm 23, I realize that something's not right. None of my birth certificates are, you know, going through. People keep saying that pretty much I don't exist. And so then I decide to just look up one day on the missing children's thing and, I, and my baby picture looks like my daughter's baby photo and so then that's when I decide to go forward and I found out that I had been missing for 23 years. Good Lord. And when did the bees come in? <laughs> there is a quick moment where we're outside and you kind of like see one go really quickly but... Right, right, right. It so doesn't have a baby. It's like a, a cameo. cameo. It's like a cameo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> come on then. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. Oh, you did, you did pistols. Yes, did. You did pistols. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did five and then pistols. Do it again. Yeah. I like it. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Good stuff. So funny. <laughs> All right. So, is this a true story? It is a true story. It's Good a true story. But you funny. can't even be 23 yet. You must be like 18 or something. I'm actually 30. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Black don't <no crack. laughs> <laughs> Up here. Then there. Oh. Yeah. No, I'm 19. But this, so this is the first time I've actually played an older role. Usually I play with my age. Do you play the 23-year-old? Oh, yeah. God, I'm really, I'm really, I was really reaching for that. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. I mean, uh, and the thing is uh, about, it, so it's a true, did you meet the person that was actually abducted? I didn't get a chance to meet her, but I got to talk to her on the phone after the movie filmed. I, wanted, mm. I really was trying to get to talk to her while the movie was filming because I, you know, I just wanted to see where she was thinking, where she was coming from because, honestly speaking, I don't know what I would have done if I found out I was abducted. Well, you see, this is one of the reasons we've called you here tonight. <laughs> I just felt like a shift, a shift of mood here. Yeah, yeah. Well, well here's, I am your father. You my father? Yes. Where have you been all my life? You weren't there for me? I was, kind of. <laughs> Whenever you thought a bee was nearby, <laughs> and then that time your sister got her leg stung, that was me. <laughs> with the symbol of the bees? Uh, to remind you. 
so what's up with you then? Where'd you live? Where do I live now? Yeah. I live in Studio City. I actually just moved Ooh, out. Don't tell us the exact area, <laughs> man. <laughs> They're going to come get me. Some yeah, yeah. Me. The no, but where are you from? I'm from Chicago. Oh, I see. I like Chicago. It's windy yeah. there, though. Yeah. It is. It Do you is. know Oprah? Did you ever meet Oprah? I met Oprah once for really? Killing the Bee. Oh, yeah. What was she? she played the Queen Bee, didn't she? No. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, all you are, move over here. Everybody over here. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Mm -mm -mm. What sign are you? Whoa. I'm a Taurus. What sign are you? I'm a Virgo. We're best friends, astrologically. You know nothing about me, young lady. <laughs> Except I'm a Taurus. What sign are you, Jeff? Uh, nut farm. Nut farm, yeah. Nut farm. Yeah. Have you read Roseanne's book? Say it again. Have you read Roseanne? Oh, what, what, I've got an accent or something? <laughs> I like your uh, jewelry, by the Thank way. You. Yeah, Thank you. Thank you so much. Nice. That's a, that's a big... Are you, is that an engagement ring? Well, if I wish... What if somebody really gave me an engagement ring this big? I would be just like, oh, my gosh. What? I would try to show it every, at every moment. Oh, did you see? Yeah, I know. I mean, that would be big. It would have to be like a prince or something. To get, it would. Or, or actually prince. I could be like Grace Kelly. <laughs> Could, you could you could be the princess of uh, where does Prince live Minnesota? Who oh, does that? Work? He's from Minnesota. Man. Yeah, I think he still lives there. Yeah. He does still live there. Yeah, he drives up and down in his purple motorbike. It, not not in his not in his little red Corvette. No, not in the red Corvette. The purple motorbike. And he's like, <laughs> he's driving around. He's like, <laughs> no, but he does that little thing. He does that thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. And all the doves go. <laughs> 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 We're out of time, so I thought I'd offer you some produce. Now these are, what is this here? Um, apparently these are garbage, but it's called a, it's called a Kiwanu after Kiwanu Reeves. Kiwanu Reeves. Yeah, yeah, this is, this was uh, the first choice for The Matrix. Oh, and they just decided they opted not. They decided to go with an actor instead. The movie was much weirder at first. Um, and then there's these. What, yeah, what is this? Oh, that, it's soft. Yeah, I think that's a pepino. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so you don't want any fruit or you want some fruit? I'll take an apple. Why not, you mm, know? Take an apple. Oh, yeah, shiny red apple. Oh, what's it going to do to me? Why don't you bite into it and find out? <laughs> oh, you got it right on me. Yeah, right. Yeah, all right, we got to go. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. So, guess what? We found a photograph of the last time you were here. We did. Well, yeah, apparently. Can, can, can we see it then? Let's see it. Ah. Oh. Man, I look like a hobo. <laughs> Show it again. I That's like to catch a predator, man. <laughs> Do you think? I look crazy, too. Look like if... No, but you're a little... Girl. Look, look at that again. That's like... <clears throat> That's like... Do you want to get in my van? <laughs> That's scary. I'm sorry if I scared you when you were here last time. You didn't. I was empathetic to what you were going through. What was I going through? I don't know. You mentioned it then, you know? I don't remember. Let's, let's forget it. Good night,